Hi there, and welcome to Full Bar of Stars, where we talk about and cover the highest rated tech gadgets on the internet. Today we're going to be talking about Canon DSLR cameras and uh, what lens you should buy for your DSLR camera. So everybody loves taking pictures. Who doesn't love photos? So I can kind of I kind of consider people who take photographs in one of three categories. There's people who nowadays who use their their built-in iPhone or uh, smartphone camera, and these cameras have come such a long way. I, I'm never going to poo-poo the, the the cameras that are built into the smartphone. They always say the best camera that is out there is the one that you have with you. So the fact that we're all carrying around these and the camera uh, quality just keeps skyrocketing and getting better and better is amazing. Then there's people who get into like a DSLR camera, um, uh, an SLR camera like this one here, and they have a lot of huge advantages to them. You can really focus in on the manual settings of them. They have huge sensors on them. Um, uh, you can put on additional microphones and flashes and things like that. But one of the biggest differences about them uh, is you can get into interchangeable lenses. Often the cameras come with these kit lenses that have like an 18 to 55 millimeter lens on them. So uh, the, the lenses are really great. And then there's people who get into the SLR cameras and start buying, you know, crazy lenses that cost, you know, 800, 1,000, several thousand dollars. So today I'm going to be talking about people who are getting, stepping up from the smartphones, but into an SLR, but don't necessarily want to spend thousands of dollars on lenses. They just want to know what lens to buy uh, beyond the, the lens that came with their kit. So let me first talk to you about uh, DSLR cameras in general. Um, I used to uh, work at a camera store way back in the day. Don't want to date myself quite how old are you, although you can probably tell with the gray on my hair. But probably about 20 years ago, I used to work at a camera store. And back then, I was always a Canon guy. I owned a Canon EOS Elan 2. I'll probably show you a photo of one on the screen here. And that was an awesome camera. I think I spent like around $1,200, and that came with a lens similar to the lenses that come with the kits today. And I absolutely loved it. Now, just to talk about Canon, they, they've been doing this for a long time now, and Canon makes great glass. They, they were back then, and even now, these kit lenses that are often a really good value are amazing lenses for, for people who are just getting into photography, even for some professional users. The kit lenses are really great. So the ones that come bundled with them, I totally think when you get an SLR camera when you're starting off, you should get a kit lens. Often the 18 to 55 millimeter lens that comes with them is a great lens to start. And when people often think about getting into sort of, you know, which lens to move beyond that, a lot of guys think about uh, getting a bigger lens. Bigger is better. You want to get a, uh, a telephoto lens, right? Or you even start dreaming about some of those huge lenses that you see. I was just at a sports event a few weeks ago, and there was a guy taking pictures of hockey. I had this enormous lens, enormous lens, and I was thinking, wow, that would be cool. I guess I had lens envy, but... So yeah, often when we're thinking about lenses, we're thinking about these big telephoto zooms, but often the real fun, I found that uh, just playing around with a certain lens that is, is getting into a wide angle lens is where you can really have some fun. Often you're kind of constrained for space. You can see kind of I'm at this, uh, I have the 18 55 millimeter lens on this camera right now, and I'm at its widest settings, and you can see kind of how wide I can get here. When you get into a wide angle lens, you can really start to have a lot of fun. So that's why today I'm going to talk about the Canon um, um, uh, EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens. It's a really great lens. I've, uh, if you go on the reviews, I'll show you some of the reviews here from sites like Amazon, uh, Best Buy, b &H Photo, uh, Henry's Camera here in Canada. It's, it's a really, pretty much always a five star or four and a half star rated lens. Um, so a lot of people really have it. There's great value to this lens. So we're gonna talk about this lens here. So this is the Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens. It has an aperture range of 4.5 to 5.6 uh, with the STM motor on it. So what does EFS stand for? It gets a little bit more technical, but it works with Canon cameras up to the 7D. Um, just the main advantage of these lenses, the EFS lenses, it allows the lens to protrude farther into the camera. So wide angle lenses such as this one can be a bit smaller and lighter. And STM stands for, uh, that's Canon step motor technology. It's quieter, it's a smoother focus. It's really good for shooting video because you don't hear that um, uh, focusing while you're shooting video, but also in scenarios where you want to be quiet. Not like right now where I have to pop these bubbles. Sorry, I just, I can't resist. 
<laughs> so here you see the lens here. It's a really nice compact size. It's a nice looking lens. It comes with the front and rear lens guard with it. It is the only accessories it comes with. There's the autofocus uh, switch which you can turn on or off. The zoom ring feels really nice and smooth on it. Yeah, it just feels nice and smooth. This lens has image stabilization on it, which is great for shooting video. Something to consider, the thread on this lens is 67 millimeters, which is a bit more than the 58 millimeter on the kit lens. So if you have filters, you may need some new filters for it. But uh, yeah, just a really nice lens, feels good. The manual focus ring, you can override the focus. Feels nice and smooth at the end there. The lens does have a plastic mount, but because the lens is so light, it's not really that big of a deal. So let's see what the lens looks like on. So this is filming with the wide angle lens. I'm holding in my hand the bundle lens that came with the camera, the 18 to 55 millimeter, which is a really nice lens that comes with it. But you can kind of see the wide angle view that I have with it here. I'm getting a lot more in the desk. Uh, just for perspective, I'll quick go back to the previous lens and then back to the wide angle lens. So yeah, a lot wider view, taking in a lot more space. So you can see with the wide angle lens just how much extra sort of viewable area or life that you can squish into the photo. I, this The camera's in the same spot it was before, but now with the wide angle lens you're getting a huge much more. I gotta work on my uh, my cable management over in that corner there, but um, but yeah, the you get so much more space. So whether you're taking photos of interiors, you're at a family event, you're just trying to get the whole family in or the whole scene, uh, you're going traveling and you want to take uh, pictures of the beautiful buildings and stuff, you can just fit so much more. So often when you're thinking about getting a lens, uh, getting a wide angle lens is is in some cases a lot more fun. You get a lot more cooler photographs than going with a uh, a sort of telescopic lens that you almost always have to have on a tripod or a really bright light and steady to be able to shoot that with enough uh, light and everything so a wide angle lens so just to give you an idea of the difference again here this is the wide angle lens the 10 to 18 millimeter I'm at uh, 10 millimeter mark right now and we'll put the um, this is the uh, kit lens the 18 to 55 we'll put that one back on a second so you can see here just how much tighter that this is at the uh, 18 millimeter mark and you can see I can I can zoom all the way up to 55 millimeters on this lens and back again but getting again the, using the 10 to 18 millimeter lens there you go you get so much more of a view on the picture again I'll zoom in here again to see the kind of the uh, the range and zoom you get with the 10 to 18 millimeter so you still get some play there just a great lens. You can see great uh, color on it, great focus ability. It's, uh, again, for video, it's a really nice. It has that uh, STM lens on it. It's very quiet, very fast focusing. So, yeah, with the with this lens here, too, I'm, I'm kind of filming in my little uh, bedroom studio here. Uh, space is limitation. So with this wide-angle lens, it allows me just to get a little bit closer so as you can see now, I'm a lot, I'm a lot closer um, to me, but you still be able to get almost the same image in the viewfinder as you did before. So what I'm going to do right now is take the camera out outside and go just take a few pictures of some buildings in the area, and just kind of again show you, illustrate the difference that you can get with using the wide-angle lens versus the uh, built-in kit lens. So here's a few examples. Here's the Chris Kringle Market at City Hall in Kitchener with the 18 millimeter. And you see if we go to 10 millimeter, we can get a lot larger viewfinder, a full ceiling of stars. Here's the floor at 18 millimeters. And then again at 10 millimeters, we can fit in a lot more. Just going outside, 18 millimeters, trying to capture the outside city hall. And going into the wide 10 millimeters, you can just see you can capture so much more of what's going on around you. So there are some examples that you can get with the wide angle lens. I hope you found that useful. I really love the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens. It's a really highly reviewed product on a lot of the different websites, but uh, 
me using it myself. I love it as well too. I give it my full approval. I bought my lens at Henry's Camera. It was on sale for $369 Canadian. Um, I always give the Canadian prices of things too, being from Canada, but also will include the US prices. Usually selling for about $279 in US right now. I'll give you some links below to the places where you can get a hold of it. If you do live in the Kitchener-Waterloo area and you like photography, I want to give a plug out to my friend Taylor Jones who started the project Deer Photograph and is now locally doing a project called Deer Kitchener. I'll put a link in that below as well too. It's a really cool project. I would really appreciate if you'd share the love and like this video. It will help to get it out to more people. And if you want to see more videos like this, please click subscribe and there will be more tech videos about cool tech gadgets coming out very shortly. There's a link to my Twitter account where you'll find lots of tweets and updates. And most of all, if you have any questions at all or have some comments, please uh, post in the comment section below. I'll answer every single question or comment that you post there and uh, would love to hear about your experiences or what you think about this video. Anyways, thanks very much. We'll see you on the next one.